I've been excited all week to make this dish. There are tons of ingredients. Uh, I'm only gonna do this once in my life probably, but I've always wanted to see what plum pudding tastes like. So I'm preparing Tiny Tim's plum pudding. If you've ever seen, I think it's the Patrick Stewart version, the bald guy from uh, Star Trek Next Generation, I think, uh, the captain. Patrick Stewart does an amazing job. Uh, he did it on Broadway and he did a Christmas Carol uh, movie. So. Uh, in that movie, you'll see Bob Cratchit's family after they have this measly meal where they're all grateful for. She brings out of the boiling water with the foil or the, not the foil, but the, I think it's a, a, it had a tin top on it. It's all tied down and she brings it out. She, you steam cook it and she serves it. And then Tiny Tim's like, God bless us, everyone. So anyway, uh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to try and make it today. I do not know if I'm gonna use a big bowl or a small bowl, I'm gonna see. I couldn't get a pudding mold to make this dish. There was a, a real device and I, I would have to have mail ordered it on the internet, it wouldn't have been here in time. So I'm using these, these bowls. So I don't know if I need the smaller one or the bigger one, all right? So I'm gonna probably grease up both of them. Then once I'm done with the mixture, ready to pour it in, I'll figure out which one's gonna be best. So once again, I'm really excited. Also, I have one more Christmas video coming we're going to smoke a prime rib. It was a last minute decision. I got a good price on a prime rib at the store. So I thought that prime rib that I cooked, we're gonna cook it a little bit more. Uh, for those of you who don't like rare, medium rare, uh, we're gonna try to cook it up to about 140, I think it is. But so that's another uh, video for uh, right before Christmas. And you're gonna probably see for the first time on the cooking show, my oldest son, Garrett, who lives in Los Angeles. So he's gonna be on the show with me and we're gonna do this together. It's gonna to be exciting. All right, you guys, now, let's get started. I don't even know where to start, so let's start over here. Brown sugar, breadcrumbs, flour, orange zest, cinnamon, baking soda, nutmeg, cloves, salt, shredded carrots, golden raisins, currants, dates, plums, eggs, and butter. Ha! I did it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is put the butter in and the sugar. And by the way, this is my new, see the silicone bottom, Wolfgang Puck mixing bowl that I'm using for the first time on the show. So here we go. Okay, you can see it's kind of kind of creamy. See that? All right, we're going to add one egg at a time and mix it on low. Final egg. All right, in another bowl, you're going to combine your breadcrumbs your flour, your cloves, your salt, cinnamon, baking soda, nutmeg, and orange zest. And then just give that a good mix. Then you're going to gradually add it in here. So we'll put a little bit in, get this all mixed in, and just put in a little bit of time. So once this gets incorporated, put in a little bit more until it's all in. So I'm gradually mixing all my plums with my dates because I want it all to be blended well, putting in my, putting in everything. I don't want one part of my pudding to have like all carrots and another part to have all currants, another one to have raisins. So I'm gonna blend these together first. Put this in here. Here we go. And folding doesn't mean mix, just get it incorporated. It doesn't mean you're going to, uh, to give it a good stir. You don't want to like blend it in, but you're just gently going to get 
and fold it in. So you're just moving layers on top of layers, if that makes sense. Let's see which bowl am I gonna need. That one, probably that one. I'm gonna go with the smaller bowl. Okay, as you can see, I have buttered the entire inside because we want this to come out, okay? So whether you have a pudding mold or you're using a bowl like me, you wanna butter it heavily. And we're just gonna place this in there. All right, that's it. Now we're gonna cover it with heavy duty foil. You want extras on the edge. You want this as tight as possible, okay? Okay, I'm gonna tie the string around. There we go. I guess that's to make sure that this doesn't come off in the cooking process. All right, let's go over to the stove now. So get a stock pot that, the, that you'll be able to do this in. You need a deep stock pot. So I'm gonna place this inside because we're gonna steam, I need a steamer tray. Do not let the water come above the steam rack. All right, now you wanna bring this to a boil, so I'm gonna bring it to a boil. All right, water's boiling, so I'm gonna get my pot holders and I'm gonna gently set the pudding in. Then you're gonna cover it and you're gonna steam cook it two to two and a half hours. This is what I want you to do. Every 45 minutes, every half hour, peek at the water. If it needs more water, add more water. We're gonna do the toothpick test. If you put the toothpick in, it comes out clean, it's done. So let's untie it and see how we're doing here. Here we go. Straight in, straight out, it's clean. It's done, it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, I've never made it before. How's that look? Yeah? All right, we're gonna let it cool. Let it cool for about five minutes. Let's get the three ingredients to make the sauce, they call it. But I, I think it's called a frosting. Here's your three ingredients. Softened butter, powdered sugar, and rum. If you don't want the alcohol in your plum pudding, use orange juice, all right? It'll be in the recipe down below. All right, let's put the butter in. Put the rum in. I'm just put half the rum in. I'm gonna mix the other half in in a minute. Put some of this in there. Oh, there you go. Okay, now that I've got it kind of incorporated, I'm putting the rest of the rum in. Wow, that is strong, strong. Hope it looks good. I have not a clue on how it's gonna turn out, guys. Booyah! Let's start frosting it. I'm guessing you frost it. All right, there it is, right there. Let that cool for a minute, let it harden. All right, let's serve it up. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? Put it right on this plate here. Just give you an idea what it looks like. You can see the front part's coming off already. It's like a pudding, kind of a pudding cake. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Plum pudding is good. Oh my goodness, it reminds me of a fruity, I don't even know. I've never had this before. Mmm. Ooh. Better not have too much of that. That rum is strong in the frosting. And I'm going to church tonight. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Have I ever used that word before? This is really good. This is such a holiday flavored dessert. So fruity, uh, moist cake, but it's not really a cake. Uh, it just, it melts in your mouth and it's delicious. So much going on in there. I'm blown away. I thought it'd be okay. I thought it'd be like a warm, soft fruit cake, but it's not. It's something better than fruit cake. So if you have time to go grab the ingredients, guys, 
Most of them I already had on hand. You might too. Try this out. Tiny Tim's Plum Pudding. God bless us, everyone. Dude, Dad left his plum pudding out. Yo, he finally made this. I thought he was all talk, but, you know, it looks like I'm going to snag a bite. He did pretty good. He's probably going to want the rest of this, so I'll just go ahead and snag this. I'll see y'all later. Merry Christmas.